Hello little silver family, how are you all doing? I hope you're doing great. Thank you so much for supporting the little silver Dubai channel. And for my subscribers, thank you so much. I do appreciate and as well for those who are passing by for the first time. Thank you for choosing to watch this awesome YouTube video. And welcome to this family. You can as well subscribe to this channel and enjoy awesome content. We do videos based on lifestyle, adventure, and risks in between. So you're welcome. So welcome to this video today. We are going to be making a uh, ugali. Ugali is a Kenyan delicacy. <laughs> which is mostly enjoyed um, across a variety of tribes in Kenya. Um, we have almost or more than 46 tribes in Kenya with 46 languages. Each one of us have a slightly different food, but there are some foods that come cut across just like ugali. Our basic meal in Ukambani, which is on the eastern part of Kenya is Mudokoi. Uh, on another separate video, I'll show you how we make it from start to cooking. But today we are making ugali. Uh, everyone visiting Kenya knows about ugali, and you can always try it. So it made in it's made uh, in two different ways. It depends on the type of flour because we have the fine processed that is like the one which is passed through a factory and then we have the traditional one which is usually just normal maize or corn and it's just taken to a portion meal or a grinding machine and it's made to flour so that is what is uh, usually quite accessible for everyone and depending on which kind of flour you have you have two ways in which you can make it we have a shortcut version whereby you just put water boil together and then put the flour until to the required texture but today we have the traditional flour so we are going to be making it like it's a two-step way whereby you put water put some flour allow it to like simmer or i don't know what to call it and then you add flour to texture so we are going to cook the traditional ugali so you're welcome but first we are going to wash the utensils from breakfast <laughs> and then this is the flour we are going to use so this is just yeah So this is the cleverest invention I have ever invented in this kitchen uh, from physics, you know, I loved physics. So see this, this is like a small uh, bicycle pump, air pump. So you blow from this side, all on the other side is 
so small so the pressure is high so you always make it easier for fire to be lit so i had suffered lighting fire in this kitchen mm. so after boiling these are the two two tools we are going to use this uh, i don't know the english name for stara or something and then we have this one um it's not black okay yeah it's black but it's the wood <laughs> it's not pseudo so yeah first step second step let's go so we go first first step with this this tar now then they are right here yeah. so this one So you do like that to avoid any like clumps together. So you can keep it going for a while. It depends. Um, we use African time and there's no defined formula for le for how long you're gonna keep it there but I suggest if you get it keep it there for around maybe seven minutes or five minutes uh, depends with your fire as well and the intensity but if you feel it's right follow your gut so the last time I tried to teach somebody's son to cook it they were asking like and ask like what else do we put inside um naturally it's just plain water and corn however if you want to add something else you can add but not definitely not sugar so some people choose to add like margarine or uh, a little bit of salt depends on whatever you're eating in accompaniment but those are just like i would say luxury so now the last step and we use our last tool so then you can just uh, do it to your normal texture or the texture you feel is okay um some people do it a little bit hard, some people do it a little bit soft. I choose to do it uh, a little bit soft. It works either way as long as it's completely cooked. This flour actually was already like almost fully sifted. But I just chose to do the traditional way for the video. So this is not completely the traditional uh, flour. The traditional flour is uh, slightly colored. So after that, you just keep um, stirring to mix together. And voila! After you are done, you just keep it there for a while as well. When you feel it's right then it's right so this is uh, my consistency um, because it's still there some water is running now and you mix until you feel uh, it's fine like there is no lumps of flour some big families you cannot do it with one hand because you have to use a very big pot and then you can use a very big uh, muiko so after you keep it there for a while it will start to stick in the sphere and now your neighbors can realize that you're cooking so 
when you feel the smell, you can always go to your neighbor and invite yourself to eat. <laughs> That's how we do it here. You can as well cover the sufu here but sometimes and then make sure you enjoy like Voila, we have ugali and it got burnt. Don't worry, it's part of the process. So, yay! In case you are wondering if it's a lot of work, yes, it's a lot of work. Like, it's gymnastics. <laughs> so, voila, we have our ugali. I hope you enjoyed the video. And. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and support me, motivate me to do these videos. As you can see, it's a real, real hustle, but I'm enjoying every bit and everything. Like, I'm just taking life slow, enjoying, like, being in the moment, you know. So, enjoy and see you in the next video. Bye.